All right, let's go ahead and make our JavaScript file. So over here, uh, I'm going to make a file, and I'll just call this app.js. And then in here, first we need to make a function. And we'll, we'll, we want to make a name that is uh, useful. So I'll say compute area of rectangle so that I can kind of see what that function is going to do just by looking at the name. Okay. Now, in the end, I'm going to want to say uh, have some type of logic like this, right? Return width times length or something. But first, I have to get that data from the HTML. So I'm going to split right on this so that I can see them both easily. We have an idea of length and an idea of width. And so I'll say uh, let L equals document dot get element by ID length is what we called it dot value. I'm going to copy that line of code and then I'll say W for a different variable and then we're getting the W from the width ID. Okay, then we want to compute the area and then output it for the user. So I'll say let area equals length times width and then we'll say document dot get element by ID and then we need an output spot, right? So I'm going to make a new uh, paragraph down here and I'll give it an ID of output and I'll leave it empty. But then in our JavaScript, I'll say output dot inner HTML equals area. Okay, so let's see if this works. Uh, first, we need to go ahead and reference this um, from our app.html file so that we can actually call this function. And then we need to call the function on the button click. So I'll say compute uh, area of rectangle, just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. I'm gonna hit refresh. I'm gonna say five and four and calculate. And we get an, er uh, an error, okay? It says compute area of rectangle is not defined. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna copy this and just make sure that I'm calling it the right thing, okay? So we're referencing app.js, they're in the same folder, that looks good. And then I'm just gonna paste that right there uh, and let's see if this works for us. Okay, I'm just making sure all these, all, all the text matches. All right, I'm gonna hit refresh and I'm gonna hit five and four and calculate and it says zero. Okay, that was some pretty bad math. Uh, let's look over here and we say length times width should have been five times four. So to work through this, we're gonna debug this and see why this isn't working. And we're gonna see if we can fix this program. 